news. Now we've got some really great material coming up, you know, at, with our with our halftime show, and not to mention our second uh, second act guest. Uh, uh, so take it away, Nicole. Tell us what we're doing, Anthony. Take tell us what we're doing next. If you have good taste, then you will love Magic by David Kopak. Put your hands together. Welcome. See how I did that? That was my magic trick. I brought him in. David, how are you, friend? I'm very good. Hello. It's wonderful to see everybody. And um, you let me know when you're ready, because I'm ready. We ready. Okay. We stay ready. Go ahead. First of all, it's so excellent to hear what's going on with you know everybody that's kind of coming together and doing all this. I love the theme of connectedness, and I do miss collaboration in Chicago. I only spent a quarter century in Chicago. So let me tell you a few of the things I discovered. Now, most people stop at the impossible, but if you're a magical thinker, then the impossible is where you begin. So let's begin. I have a suitcase here and um, a slightly smaller one for the shorter sets. And in fact, a very tiny suitcase, that's where we begin. This was passed on from my great grandfather to my grandfather, and my grandfather passed it on to my father, and my dad sold it to me. <laughs> okay, we'll press on. There are more important things in life than money, but they're expensive. That's two for you so far. You should be writing these down. I have here, uh, let's see, transparency. Yes, indeed. An illusion isn't something that doesn't exist. It's something that isn't quite what it seems to be. Hopefully you can see I'm down to two more coins. Uh, which would you prefer, doctor, either doctor, the big coin or the small? I'd, 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 like, I'd like the small coin. Very well. Then I'll remove the small. I'm working for you. But I do it without ever even opening the bag. Watch carefully. As I say, an illusion isn't something that doesn't exist. What? It's something that isn't quite what it seems to be. And this is truly what it seems to be. Now, remember, uh, there are people who are smart in different ways. Some think in pictures, others are more athletic than we have the verbal linguistic types. But today, we're talking about what it means to think like a magician. And in a moment, I'm gonna show you the trick that I showed my wife, Lisandra, a collaboration. She's no stranger to collaboration. I'm gonna tell you the story of how we met. But first, you may recognize this item here. Do you remember this one? Indeed. Okay, very good. I know it's not quite like the Magic Castle here, right? Or the Comedy and Magic Club in Hermosa Beach. Like, I can't really hear anybody. But this is the perfect paradigm for capturing every single one of a person's fingerprints. I'm going to solve it for you in record time. Not with two hands, that's like juggling, or one hand, but with no hands, might look something like this. How'd I do? Ooh. I remember the first time I saw that, Anthony, I forgot to clap too. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, I could tell you how I did it, but you wouldn't respect me in the morning. <laughs> did, I that mention, Is that did, I, <laughs> did I mention that 12 newborn babies on average are given to the wrong parents daily? <laughs> that has nothing to do with this. Just wanted to make sure you're paying attention. <laughs> All I have here are two rubber bands. You don't have to have fancy props to perform. A lot of people, they say, well, I'm gonna finally learn right now during this global pandemic, I'm gonna learn how to juggle. I'm gonna learn how to play piano. I'm gonna learn how to do a magic trick. It's the perfect time. So here's one of my favorites. I have here two rubber bands. Can you see that from where you are? I yes. see that, David. Okay, I can't separate my hands unless I take these rubber bands off my fingers. I can't go this way. I can't go through the center, but if I do a little magic on good nights, I melt one right through. Yo. Ooh. Now, you're not supposed to repeat a trick but just this once. Uh, <laughs> one goes on the other side like so, you see? Now I cannot separate my hands, it's like an escape, right? Like Houdini, not even Houdini could get out of this one. He was an escapologist, an escape artist. I can't go this way, I can't go through the center, but if I do a little magic on good nights, I melt it right through. What? Don't look at me, I'm looking at you. <laughs> This is so bizarre. The yeah, whole yeah, 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 yeah. You're doing it, you're doing it. It's working. The, the scale uh, of the rubber funny. bands work really well. That's very smart. Does it really? Okay, good. People yeah. call to say, I want to see a Zoom show. This is the trick. It's actually a little story because we're all storytellers here, right? Every actor should have an act. So this was my act. This is how I met Lisandra. I said I had one, two, three, four, five dollars, and one dollar was stolen by the bully. His name was Eddie. Oh yes, I was a victim of my ineluctable magical powers. Two, three, 
four, five. By Tuesday, I had five bills in hand. I said, wait a minute, one bill handed off to the bully. How is it I arrive at one, two, three, four, it kept happening. Now this is the part where Lee Sandra started laughing really loud at the Chopin Theater. I had one, two, three, four, f five dollars. Again, one bill handed off to the pocket. How is it I arrive at one, two, three, four? F Let me give you a closer look. One bill handed off to the pocket. They don't even leave the frame. One, two, three, <laughs> four. Anyhow, as I say, we had a drama teacher, Ms. Augustine. I said, I have how many dollars? She said, five. I said, right, I place one inside the pocket of a friend in need. How many should I have remaining? And Miss Augustine declared 100. Sometimes we need to think bigger. <laughs> Thank you very much. Are you enjoying That's this? big money, baby. That's okay. big money. Let's do one more, one more, very quickly. You don't have to have fancy props to perform. This is a very good one with cards. I'm just gonna adjust this so that everyone can see. As a matter of fact, I'll take off my ring so you don't think it has anything to do with this Let particular my sleeve. Oh yes. <laughs> I don't know what the secret to success in marriage is, but I suspect it's all who you know. <laughs> all right, this is going on this finger for just one moment. These are cards. This is one I call the hands of time because there's as much time now as there ever was, especially since we're in a difficult time, right? A strange time. But if I could stop time, how would I know? Well, none of these objects would move through space. So let me tell you exactly what I'm driving at. I have here one, two, three, it looks like nine cards. I will build a beautiful clock out of these cards right in front of you. They will not even leave the frame. And then you'll see something very unusual. People may say Mr. Kovac must have had glue on his hands. That's how he was able to accomplish what he's doing. But actually, it's a trick that takes 10 seconds of your time and 10 years of mine. Now there's no glue, there's no strings, but I have here a perfect clock made out of these playing cards. Nevertheless, we need to get to the bottom of a very serious mystery. I'll be right with you. Did I mention that Charlie Chaplin once entered a Charlie Chaplin lookalike contest and he placed third? True fact. <laughs> Evidently, originality is not always so easy to recognize. I'm going to remove one of these cards. No glue. Second one. Oh, my God. Too fancy. <laughs> and finally, when you say fall, slick. When Dr. Slick says fall, that's when they fall. Not before. Oh! And so they do. Thank you so much. Never <laughs> worth a load. David hey, Goldman. Thank you very much. Well, Thank you, you the much. man. That's I want right. to remind you oh that God. if you've been dazzled or delighted, astonished, even amused, reminded in some way that amazing things happen every day, we know the spirit of the modern day vaudevillians, which is really all of us, has been with us all along. Thank you so much. An adult is just a deteriorated child. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. David! Great to see you, pal. Yeah. Wow. Bravo. Thank you very much.